Morning. Okay, today we are talking how to downsize. So this would be, in probably a lot of cases, I'm guessing, when people become empty nesters and they look around their house and they go, what do I need all this house for now? So they want something smaller. Yeah. It also could be just a, a relationship change. Yeah. It could also be just a, uh, what I call a headspace change, right? I don't need all this house. So it may not only be for... Um, a lot of times people think about downsizing, I'm over 60, 65 now, and, and now it's time to do it. There may just be an emotional change. Mm -hmm. There may also be a marital change, a partnership change. There may also just be a personal change where you're just realizing, and, and I am actually seeing a lot of this, and, and the media has been talking about this, I've got a, a you know 4,000 square foot house, and yes, I have three kids, I don't want to clean all this yeah. house. I don't need all this house. Yeah. So downsizing for our listeners today, it's not just for seniors, right? right? Or myself and, and for our viewers, you know that I recently became an empty nester, is the fact that it, it could be more. Yeah. It, it could be other circumstances. That does make sense. In today's climate too, where everything is so expensive, I have family who are have two young little ones looking to downsize because they said, you know what, financially, if we can go to a house that's a bit smaller, a little bit less mortgage, we have more money in our pocket at the end of the day, and that's really going to help when everything is so expensive. So let's get to uh, your points. Get started early. What do you mean by that? So when you are thinking about downsizing, you need to, there's going to be a lot of emotion involved, no matter what the circumstances is whether you're upsizing, downsizing, when you're moving, there's a lot of emotion. And so if you start early, you can reduce that little bit of stress. Moving is stressful, mm -hmm. as we all know, yet if we can get started early and realize what we need and what we don't need before everything else, before you know the time starts ticking down, this will reduce your stress level. Okay, so take inventory of what you have. So in yes, your home? In your home. And you'd be surprised. You know, um, I'm pretty good at, at not overdoing things. And yet I look at stuff because now that I'm an empty nester, I'm like, would I take that with me? Would I not? So take inventory of what you have. And when we look at downsizing, you have to think about what do you have? Does that huge sectional fit in a home that you're considering, mm -hmm. right? Or are you going to keep the cute little white chairs that would fit beautifully, you know, in your in your primary bedroom, right. that kind of thing. So take inventory of what you have and make sure that you sort and declutter it. One thing that a lot of stagers will tell you to do is the fact that you look at your look at your stuff, mm -hmm. look at your furniture, look at your clothing. And what we need to do is say, are we going to keep it? Are we going to sell it? Or are we going to get rid of it? Mm -hmm. And you have to be really ruthless, and it does get personal. Yet, if it's not important to you, it's time to get rid of it. You don't want to be bringing stuff you don't need anymore to another house once yep. you move. That also ups your moving costs. Consider the sentimental items. Yes. So we all have things in our houses, it's like my grandmother gave that to me and that's really important. I want to keep it. I have books from my dad that even though they're just coffee table books, I want to take them with me, right? There are sentimental items that then you need to incorporate them into the furniture that you have. So again, we talked about donating, mm -hmm. we talked about selling, we talked about getting rid, yet consider the sentimental items and then incorporate that into a plan. Because the biggest thing that's important when you decide to down, like downsize is to create a plan because there is going to be a lot of stuff that you may want to give to your kids, your friends, your family, or donate to a local charity, mm -hmm. which I would highly recommend um, because a lot of people, as you said, economics are a little tight. So Instead of pitching it, why don't you donate it? All right, so we're just getting started. Lots more to come. We're going to take a quick break here. If you have any questions, get them to 